Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here, coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. Uh, we have some breaking developments. Uh, I'm telling you right now, Daniel's 70th week is banging on the door. Hope everyone can hear me all right. Uh, it is Wednesday, January the 26th, 2023. The time here is approximately 11.37 a.m. Central Standard Time. God bless you guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, let's get into it, shall we? Because it's time for the Washroom Report. Yeah. Alrighty. This came out about 13 hours ago. Two people were killed and several others wounded in a knife attack on a regional train in Germany. Yeah. I've got to get my glasses on. Should have done that earlier. It's hard to get them on once you get these earphones on, so bear with me. Okay, something doesn't seem right about the sound. Give me a sec. Well, it shows everything's okay, but usually I can hear something in my ear. I'm sure y'all will let me know. Okay, 48 minutes ago, yes, coming out of Israel. Yeah. Now, well, Let's go back to the beginning of it, then we'll get back. All right. In the wee hours. Oh, there's another German report here. This came out 25 minutes ago. There has been a cyber attack of sorts against German airports, public administration bodies, and financial sector organizations. Let's see here. Where is it? Okay, this is the story. This happened overnight in the wee hours. Israeli security forces, the ISF, carried out a massive daytime. Well, it was daytime, so it was probably in the wee hours of the morning. Okay. Raid within the Janine camp uh, to prevent an imminent major terror attack by terror operatives within the city from Hamas and the PIJ. Gaza terror groups are promising a response. There's video. Yeah. <laughs> can hear the sirens, the air raid sirens. Well, during this gun battle, which lasted approximately four hours, yeah, uh, we're going to the lion's lair, right? because they have much to say about it. Let's start here. Crowds mourn the bodies of their martyrs. And here is a pic of tens of thousands in the streets, okay? Let's see here. And this says, the Palestinians and security coordination with Israel in the occupied West Bank 
After a deadly Israeli military raid in a flashpoint city, Janine, according to a spokesperson for Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, a.k.a. Abu Mazen, okay, they have said no more cooperation, period, with Israel, period, we're done, okay? Also out of the lion's lair. During an angry event in the northern Gaza Strip in solidarity with Janine, Hamas spokesman Abdul Latif Alkonu, the Janine camp massacre reflects the bloody mentality of the extremist settler government, which targets our people and our families and commits crimes against our people. The crimes and massacres practiced by the fascist occupation government will pay a heavy price and the resistance of our people will extend in all regions of the West Bank to confront the occupation, confront its aggression, and respond to its crimes. The state of anger in our Palestinian people as a result of the escalating crimes of the occupation will explode with fire and gunpowder against the criminal occupation army and its flocks of settlers. We salute the people of Janine and the heroic resistance men from the various factions who bravely confronted the invading occupation forces. Now, we stand with Israel the Jewish nation, and these people have been lied to all their lives. This lie started with one Yasser Arafat from the PLO, the PLA, Liberation Palestinian Liberation Army Organization. Uh, Yasser Arafat was Egyptian. Fact. These people are displaced peoples from wars from past, okay? And since 1948, when Israel became a nation and returned to their homeland, per God's holy writ, um, they believe that it belongs to them and it does not. These are Egyptians, Jordanians, Saudi Arabians, Arabs, you name it. But this land does not belong to anyone other than the Jewish peoples. Okay. So, there's that. Then, this came out less than an hour ago. Abu Mazen, a.k.a. Mahmoud Abbas, P.A. A spokesman announced there is no more security uh, uh, coordination with Israel, period. Okay. And Saudi Arabia, oh yes, strongly condemns a raid by Israeli commandos on the Palestinian town of Janine that killed seven people and injured two but our uh, contacts, because this is a different thing, I have to go to the enemy's camp to get some further information more than our contacts, right? It's believed that um, 10 were killed. One was, I believe, a 14-year-old boy and dozens were injured during this gun battle, okay? Then I thought this was <laughs> unreal. U.S. taxpayers are boosting the salaries of Lebanese forces that coordinate with Hezbollah, Lebanon. U.S. taxpayers, are you okay with that? Because I surely am not. 
Unreal, right? There was more. Let me see here. If I can get to it. Uh, then, yeah, DJT, you know, Trump, he put out a chirp chirp said in caps, first come the tanks, then come the nooks. Get this crazy war ended now. So easy to do. Speaking of nooks, war. Uh, it seems that a Russian war fleet, it was on its way to the Mediterranean Sea and decided to do an about phase and now is traveling through the Atlantic Ocean on our east coast, going to set up camp out there. And I've already talked about the spy ship that has been out there around Hawaii at our six, right? For weeks. Yeah. Let's see if I can find this. Uh yeah. PIJ in Gaza, the resistance will retaliate to the heinous crime committed by the occupation in Janine today. The terror and violence of the occupier will return to them as hellfire soon enough. IDF is operating against terrorists in Janine. Yeah. And here's some photos, videos. Just clips. Here's another one. Iraqi scholars of the message, the printers are partners of the occupation in its massacre in Janine. Yeah. Then it came out, Biden may travel to Europe to mark the one-year anniversary of Russia's Ukraine invasion. Then this came out, Opposition leader of Iran, uh, Reza uh, Pahlavi, has launched a campaign through which he is traveling across the world to meet with world leaders and discuss about withdrawal of the Iranian Islamic regime. His campaign has well scared the Ayatollahs, including Khomeini. I'm telling y'all. Whatever's coming next will be worse than what you already have. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can find. Yeah. President Isaac Herzog of Israel made his way to the EU Parliament. Yes and was there speaking with them. Democracy can't be taken for granted. It's no longer a democracy. Here in my land, it's a republic, okay? Not a democracy. Um, this is just insanity. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yes, and uh, later on yesterday, and I shared that on my community page, there was at least a, because we know that they always get edited, 5.9 earthquake in 
the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, yeah, the big one is coming. Uh, let's see here. Three, six, nine. Well, this guy is saying there were nine killed in the attack of trying to remove terror terror cells. Okay? These are the nine. But like I said, there were also dozens injured, okay? Let's go back over here. I know, right? It's just crazy. What a time to be alive in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, oh, yeah. And you got to listen to this. False prophet Francis criticized laws that criminalize homosexuality as unjust, saying God loves all his children just as they are. The pontiff called on the Catholic bishops who support the laws to welcome the Rainbow Fruit Loop Soup Group people into the church. Lies, lies, and more lies. If people would actually pick up the Word of God, the Holy Bible, it is the only truth there is. Christ Jesus is the Lord. He is God in the flesh. He is the Son of God, the Son of Man. He came almost 2,000 years ago. He was nailed to a cross. He bled so profusely over the sins of the world that Living water poured out of his body. He was laid in a rich man's tomb. And three days later, God the Father raised him from the dead. He walked around for 40 days upon the earth. Multitudes of people saw him. Yes, and the gospel goes out. Believe the gospel. For God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him may have, may not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to be judged by him, but that through him this world might be saved. Those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call on his holy name today. And U.S. is concerned. We're always concerned, right? As South Africa are going to begin holding war games with Russia and China on the Ukraine invasion anniversary. Well, isn't that special? Our brother Ben, our hope is not in a political figure or world leader, but in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's not forget the future Antichrist will be a political figure. The world will love and will make order out of chaos after the rapture. The snatching away up and out off of this evil, wicked world. God bless you guys. Stand strong. Keep looking up. The king is coming. Hallelujah. Maranatha. See you there.